Hi everybody, it's Miss Sari here at the Sachin Public Library, and today we're going to be discussing mittens. So we're going to read A Mountain of Mittens by Lynn Plourd, and then we're going to do a mitten craft, and then I will teach you a mitten song. So here is A Mountain of Mittens by Lynn Plourd. It was that time of year again. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But just as she put on her mittens to leave school at the end of the day, she heard a teensy weensy sneeze. Achoo! There, shivering and quivering in a corner of the terrarium was the class turtle, Myrtle. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, bless you, bless you, Myrtle Turtle. You must be catching a cold, said Molly. Here, cuddle in my mittens, they'll keep you warm. After school, Molly's teacher, Mr. Jolly, discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. He put them in the lost and found pile and mumbled, they forgot their mittens. Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. The next day, Molly's parents velcroed Molly's mittens to her jacket. So did the other kids' parents. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't, no way, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But at the end of the day, Molly and her whole grade practiced their winter musical on stage with Miss Holly, the music teacher. Miss Holly played the piano with her fingers and jingled bells with her toes as Molly and all the other students fa la la in their winter clothes. They even practiced opening and closing the stage curtains and taking a bow. After school, Miss Holly discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. She put them in the lost and found pile and mumbled and grumbled, they forgot their mittens. Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. The next day, Molly's parents crocheted her mittens together with a chain of yarn. So did the other kids' parents. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't, no way, no how, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But just as Molly put on her mittens at the end of the day for the ride home, Mr. Golly's bus, bloop, Mr. Golly's bus went slippery slide sloosh and slid off the road. Oh, golly, Mr. Golly, said Molly. Don't worry, we'll help. Molly and the other students used the yarn chains on their mittens to lasso, yank, tug, and pull the bus back onto the road. After all the students were safely bused home, Mr. Golly discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. He drove back to the school, put them in the lost and found pile, and mumbled and grumbled and rumbled. They forgot their mittens! Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. The next day, Molly's parents duct taped Molly's mittens to her jacket. So did the other kids' parents. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't. No way, no how, not me, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But at the end of the day, just as Molly put on her mittens, the, the principal, Mrs. Folly, called an emergency assembly. Mrs. Folly announced into the, into the microphone, no one, and I repeat, no one, will be allowed to leave school today until you all reclaim your mittens from the lost and found pile. It's very serious. Yikes, said Molly, the bus is waiting. So she dove into the lost and found pile, along with a few other students. Grip, stick, stuck. Molly and the other students were duct taped to the pile. Oh no. Holy mittens, yelled Mrs. Folly. We can't have our students stuck at school overnight. So Mrs. Folly hollered, help. Then Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, and Mrs. Folly tussled and tugged to try and free Molly and the other students. Grip, stick, stuck. They got stuck too. Oh no. Look at that huge pile of mittens. Molly, Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, Mrs. Folly, and more. My oh my, a mountain of, pe of people piled up high. 
Meanwhile, Molly's parents paced and fretted. Where, oh, where is Molly? We're worried, she's late. When they called the school and got no answer, they quickly dialed 911. Then Molly's parents raced to the school, along with a few other parents, and police officers, and firefighters, and ambulance workers. With special snip snapping cutting equipment and super duper teamwork, everyone was freed from the duct tape in no time flat. Hooray, yelled Molly, along with a few other students. Hooray, yelled Molly's parents, along with a few other parents. Everyone high fived and hurried home for supper. Everyone, that is, except Mr. Golly and Mrs. and Mrs. Folly and Mr. Jolly and Miss Holly. They mumbled and grumbled and rumbled and roared. You all forgot your mittens. Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. So that was A Mountain of Mittens by Lynn Plord. Okay, so this is the mitten craft that we're going to make. And the first thing we're gonna do is take the piece of twine or string and glue it where you'd like on the page. I'm gonna do mine right here and right here. And you can glue it down further if you want it to stick to the page. I'm going to take my two mittens and glue those down next. You want to get the, those edges You could use tape for this or a bottle of glue instead of a glue stick. And then you're going to take your two cotton balls and then you just want to spread them out so that they have the appearance of snow at the bottom of the mittens. So we'll glue that first one down. And if you're using um, a bottle of glue, it should give things more time to dry. But with a glue stick, we don't really need to do that. And then we'll do the second one. Just spread out that cotton. And glue it on the bottom. And then you can decorate your mittens however you'd like with the foamy stickers that you've got. Or if you have something else at home, you could do that instead. You could use sequins or beads or sparkles. I think I'm going to use blue and yellow and orange for my left mitten. And then for my right mitten, I'll use red and green. and yellow. And there we go. Here's my pair of mittens. Okay, and lastly, we have a song and it goes like this. Thumb in the thumb, place some fingers all together. This is the song that we sing in mitten weather. 
thumb and the thumb place your fingers all together this is the song that we sing in mitten weather mittens of wool or made of finest leather this is the song that we sing in mitten weather okay so that's all we have for you today uh, enjoy the mitten craft and we'll see you soon here